guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Margarita and if you're not hi hello and welcome back to my channel for today's video I am doing a full face of benefit cosmetics now I've never used anything from benefit cosmetics and you know I had the idea of trying it just because I found this product right here now I know Desi Perks um, collabed with what is it called again benefit to like make this thing uh, a brow kit I guess so yeah I'm gonna like try this out I'm really excited and kind of like nervous all of this right here is a bag full of benefit cosmetics from Ulta and it's pretty much got everything from everything in here so I like to really start with my brows first before I even do anything with like my foundation primer and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and open this here Ooh, look at how pretty this is. Yes. Oh, something almost fell. So I really don't know what is in here. So let me read it off. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't need this. I don't know what that is. So I guess I'll just like open it. So right here, like you can see like the mirror. And this is actually pretty nice just for the fact that you can keep the products in here, open it, and you have like a mirror. Right here, I mean, it says foolproof brow powder. Oh, that is so cute. I don't know what that is. But, like, here's the powder. Like, it goes from, like, light to dark. That's cute. I mean, if you're, like, a powder person. This right here is Cream Gel Brow, and this is in the shade 3. This right here is the 24-hour brow setter. This right here, I'm assuming it's an eyebrow pencil. Precisely my brow pencil. Yep. Then this one right here, is this the highlighting thingy? Yep, the high bone, high brow yeah and then the last thing here is a duo brush where it has the spoolie on one end and then it's got the angle brush on the other end that's nice i wonder if this comes off <gasps> oh my gosh it does look it's like a little pencil thingy that is so cute that's unique and then i'm gonna go ahead oh snap so i'm gonna go ahead and just dip in here with this tiny brush oh man i feel like i'm not getting anything that's crazy. Why would you kind of make a small thing like this? I don't even know if I'm getting any product. So I'm going to go ahead and just spoolie this out real quick. Oh yeah, I picked up product. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, so for the next step, I am going to go in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and just do those details in the front brow. kind of like fill in like anywhere else my brows looking a bit wild but i do have to put concealer and clean them up all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and clean my eyebrow and i'm gonna do the other one off camera and i'll be right back all right so i'm back after 10 years of doing my eyebrows the next thing that i'm going in with this if i can open it i'm gonna use the brow gel and i'm gonna use the highlighting brow bone thingy so here's like the little brow gel Oh, it's like clear, okay. All right, so the next thing I'm going in is with the high brow, which is pretty much like a highlighting shade for your brow bone. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you're supposed to blend this out. I'm pretty sure you are. It says creamy brow highlighting pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this under the brow bone. Oh wow, it is creamy. And I'm gonna just go ahead and blend this out, I guess, question mark. Ooh, maybe if this is supposed to be like, instead of using a concealer, you just kind of use this. So the next thing is, I'm going in with the Professionals Primers. There's the Pearl Primer, the Pore Primer, and the Matte Rescue. So this one right here is the Pearl Primer. Then we have the Professional Primer. And then the last one is the Matte Rescuer. So I'm going to go in with the Professional and just fill in my pores here by the nose and kind of under the eye. It's got a little seal. Go ahead and just squeeze this right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab both of my hands. Both my fingers, I guess. And I'm going to just pat it all in the pore area. All on my nose. And under my eyes a little bit. This is melting in pretty good, actually. Alright, so I did apply the pore primer. So the next thing I'm going in is with the Matte Rescue. 
and it says it's an invisible finish matting gel so we'll see about that i am pretty oily so if this does help then hello Ooh, this is blue so i'm gonna just kind of apply it to the places around my face obviously and i'm just gonna pat it under my eye where i have the professional pore filler in honestly my face does look like a bit blurred out and matte you know all right, so the next product that I'm going in with is the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I did get it in the mini size because I wasn't too sure if I were to get it in the bigger size, I might not like it. This is the shade, this is in the shade 6. I perfectly matched with shade 5, but they only had like even numbers. Go ahead and just apply this on the back of my beauty blender. And I'm going to just go ahead and start to apply it now. Oh man, this is, oh man, okay. Nope, I already committed. I mean, it's already on. Depending on how this sets, I might just get the bigger foundation and the one that's actually in my shade. So far what I can see, it's kind of like a light to medium coverage foundation. And I do like those types of foundations. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going in with is the Boiling Something Concealer. I'm using a concealer. Oh, it says that it's full coverage. A trick, a little goes a long way. Pat a small amount of boing on the darkest area you want to conceal, then tap outward with ring finger to blend. Okay, so we're using our finger then. That's what it says here. Okay, well, forget a beauty blender. Okay, so this is what shade number one is. And I'm gonna just go in with my ring finger. Ooh, very creamy, very creamy. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and conceal certain places in my face. Oh man, this is so weird. I don't like it. Nope, I can't do it. So I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and just pick up the product. And I'm gonna just blend it out there. See, this is so much easier than my finger. Very brightening too, oh my gosh. Wow, okay, wow, I can, things brightening. All right guys, so I went ahead and I did apply the concealer. So far it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't see any, like, if they had face powder or, like, at Ulta, or if Benefit does, if Benefit even has it, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, just do baking, put some powder, and then I'll be back so we can bronze the face and do some blush. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going in with is gonna be these Hula, the blush brunch or whatever, and I'm gonna be using, obviously, this one, the Hula bronzer powder. That's so cute. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to just go in with an e.l.f. What is it? Contouring brush, I guess. I'm going to just dip in here. Oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'm just going to go ahead and start bronzing my face. <gasps> oh, she's pigmented. Okay. Oh, wow. I did not expect it to be like this. Oh, no. Oh, but look at that bronzer, though. So y'all see how like, oh my gosh, look at how crazy this is. I pretty much bronzed my whole face with that one dab. Oh, I really like this bronzer though. Hello, why have I not tried it sooner? All right, that's right, because I'm a cheap ass. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take Rocketeer, I believe. And there's this shade right here called Dandelion, which is a baby pink brightening face powder. So I don't know if that could be like a highlight. And if it's not, then I'll just use a different thing. Ooh, so here's what the blush looks like. Go ahead with this. Oh, snap. If this is as pigmented as the blush, then... Ooh! I mean, bronzer. It smells nice. It smells like perfume. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like my mom would actually like this blush. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and just kind of like run this on the bridge of my nose. Ooh, yes! Blush who? When people think you're blushing, but... <laughs> psych! Alright, so the next thing here is Dandelion. It says it's a brightening face powder. Ew! I think this is more blush than highlight. Oh yeah, no. Nope, not highlight. So I know that it's supposed to be a full face of Benefit Cosmetics, but I thought that was highlight, but it's not. I'm gonna just cheat and use this ColourPop highlight. This is Flexitarian. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going in is with this trio rolling with Benefit. I did get this for free when I spent like $45 or more. It comes with a 
mascara and two mini matte liquid liners. Oh, that's good. They're matte. I'm not really a big shimmer, shiny person fan. Oh, these things are so tiny. So this is what it looks like. I have the mascara here. I have a brown liquid liner and I have a black one. So I'm going to go in with the black liner. Oh, it's a felt. So let's go ahead and just, Ooh, wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this out. I actually really like how my eyeliner turned out. I haven't really worn eyeliner like by my like by itself in a long time because I normally like to do eyeshadow then eyeliner. If not, it'd just be more of like I'll do mascara and that's it. I'm gonna go in and use the roller lash mascara. I have heard lots of good reviews on this, but I've never gotten around to it. <gasps> Ooh, I actually like these types of wands. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my eyelashes. It does have a curve to it, which I really do like mascara ones that have curves to it, just so it makes my eyelashes like curl up more. I really like how it's holding my eyelashes up. Alright guys, so I finished the first coat of mascara on my eyelash. I'm going to go ahead and do an do it on the other eyelash and I'll be back to finish off but I think I pretty much finished everything I don't know I'll probably just double check if not I'll be back with lip gloss and yeah okay bye all right guys so I'm back I did apply some lip gloss because not that I know of I don't think benefit has like any lip products maybe I believe it's more of like brows and face products not like really like lips but I'm not quite sure about that so yeah this is pretty much like the completed look of using the full face of benefit cosmetics I am gonna do um, check-ins with you guys just to show to see if like how the primer is working how the foundations working um, if my eyeliner is gonna smudge and the mascara like I don't know what's gonna happen and the eyebrows as well so far what I do like I do like the concealer because it is brightening um, my pores you really can't see it that much um, the eyebrows, I feel like the brows could have looked a lot better, um, but I've never worked with any of the products, so this is based off of a first impressions. The mascara, I completely love the mascara. Like, I don't know why I have not tried this sooner. With the eyeliner, I really like how it glided on there. Guys, so I'm back, like, freaking, let's see what time. I did my foundation at, like, one or so and I kind of finished so I finished everything maybe about like 2 20 2 o'clock or whatever and it's currently about to be 10 I know I said I was gonna do some check-ins but I didn't so eh. so this is what my face looks like eight hours after I applied it so right now looking at it I'm really not as greasy as I thought I was gonna be I'm really impressed and really happy about it I did receive a lot of compliments today um, when I went to Zaxby's they complimented my makeup and my outfit hello and then when I got to work I had a couple of co-workers be like your face is beat and I like your eyebrows and stuff like that I was just like <laughs> and then my sister Amber was like the makeup looked good and I was just like <laughs> Thank you. And what one of my coworkers said, she said that like this foundation like matches like really great. So I guess I'm not too upset about it that I did end up going a shade darker than I wanted to, but like hello, hi, yes. Um, I am an oily person. Um, I do see that I am a bit shiny right here and a little bit right here, but not as bad as I thought. Compared to the Juvia's Place foundation, I got really oily. The eyeliner, it stayed really nice on here. It looks really good. I did get compliments on my eyeliner. Um, the eyelashes, obviously they're curled up because I did um, use an eyelash curler, but the way that they have held and they curled up by themselves before I even applied the eyelash curler, amazing. Like I freaking like it so much. Like I am, I might actually go and buy that Rimmel uh, mascara. <laughs> but um, yeah, like the blush, the bronzer too. Oh my gosh, so I really like the blush and the bronzer, the Hula bronzer. I've never used it before. And I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. As you saw, there was like this big blotchiness right here. 
but you know I didn't think that there was gonna be that much pigment and I didn't even have to go back in literally whatever was left I did it all over my face the blush it it stayed it's still there hello yes the eyebrows on the other hand I'm not a big fan of it like they're okay but I feel like they could have been like a lot better so my final thoughts on this I really like the foundation I am gonna buy the bigger version of it just for the fact that I really do like it a lot it literally does give you a soft blur especially when I use the professional primers those looked really nice the eyeliner I freaking liked it you do have to work with it a little bit fast if you're really good at eyeliner you go psst, psst, done it's perfect for you because it does dry down and it stays matte and it's not gonna budge at all the mascara I can see why a lot of people like it a lot uh, the bronzer it was very pigmented I did not expect that but I also really did like it as well as the blush the eyebrows the gel it was actually pretty good and very creamy I just didn't like how you kind of have to like dip it all the way in instead of it being like I don't know I guess it's just different from like the the ABH dip pomade um, the gel bro it's still on there my eyebrows haven't moved or budged so the concealer was actually really good I did like it it did give me like a really brightening effect here and yeah like I preferred using the sponge it did say to apply it with the finger but I don't use my fingers when I apply my makeup and all that besides like my eyes if you are oily or have like combo skin like dryish oily um, I would recommend using this product pretty much like where you do have the pores and then this product like I mean you can use it all over your face um, or you can use it kind of more on your like t-zone area so like um, either on your chin on your forehead down the nose since I do have oily skin I did use the matte um, rescue just so my face wouldn't get too oily and the product wouldn't slip around and I also use the professional pore primer which this fills in the pores and it really combined really good with this here um, the little foundation the hello happy soft blur foundation so everything in this video I really did enjoy testing it out I'm pretty excited for what benefit cosmetics has next to release because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be on that boat and be like so that was pretty much my full face testing out Benefit Cosmetics makeup. If you guys want to see more videos of this, let me know. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon so you're notified when I do upload more videos. And alright. <laughs> alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Yeah. But like, can we please appreciate how my face looks like hello yes not really oily hello and then like my eyelashes yes oh my gosh and then this eyeliner oh my gosh yes